Welcome to Sage Time Slips eCenter. Today we'll be looking at the eCenter mobile site. The mobile site was designed for on-the-go slip entry with today's most popular phones like the iPhone, Blackberry, and Android in mind. Logging into the mobile site. We see three main options. Create a new time slip, create a new expense slip, and view my slip list. If I click create a new time slip, it just gives me a simplified entry screen. I can pick my client. My task. Reference if there is any. And then my description. If I hit next, I can set my date. A nice easy to push button with the stop start timer. Just gonna put in some time there. My do not bill time, my billing status, rate source, rate type, and level. And I can go back to the first page, or I can save it, or I can just cancel out of the whole thing. I'm gonna save it. Now that I've saved it, I have my manage screen, which gives me like a Cliff Notes version of what I have here. The date, the client, the type, and the activity. And I have some options. What would I like to do? I can view or change the slip. I can delete it. I can duplicate it. Mark it as complete or return to the slip list. I'm going to pick return to the slip list. And now it's showing me I'm viewing all the slips. Now here I have my sort and filter options refresh button and here are my slips that just the date the client and the activity here's my next and last buttons if I go further I have a first and a back button and if I ever want to go back to those first three choices it's all the way at the top with this home button I can go create a new expense slip which is very similar to the time slip just like on the entry screen view my slip list and then I can also log out from here. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining me for this overview of the eCenter mobile site.